Do you want to make Minecraft animations like this, but can't find a tutorial? Well, today I'm going to show you how. To get Minimator, go to the link of the description and download the media file. Once it's downloaded, extract the file, then click on the file two times until you get here. Then you just have to open the Minimator.exe. To start animating, click on New Projects, then put the name of your animation and press Create Project. When you load in, it's going to look very confusing, so I'll explain the sections to you. The crafting table at the top is how to get your items like cameras, lights, Lighting and characters, etc. The timeline at the bottom is how you animate with your keyframe, and the project properties to the side will help you change the environment, etc. To import your character, press on the crafting table and upload your character skin and decide if you like it slim or wide. Then press create. To move around in Minimator, hold the right button on your mouse to look around and use ASWD to move around. You're now going to want to import a camera and lighting. Click on the crafting table, go to camera, and press create. Now for the light, just go to the light source and you will see different options for lighting. Point light, which shines in all directions like a light bulb, or spotlight, which lights a cone of light like a flashlight. Press on spotlight and press create. For the type of animation we saw in the beginning, we want to get rid of the floor and sky. To do that, go to the environment tab and get rid of ground, clouds, fog. Then set your background color to whatever you want by pressing sky. We're now going to use our spotlight to give a little glow to your player. Whatever color you use for your background is going to be the color that you use for your spotlight. To change the color, go to the side, press light, and select your color. To move your spotlight, go to the side to the move tool. You can slide these arrows up, down, right, or left depending on where you want it to be. To rotate it, you can go to the side and move the X, Y, and Z to rotate it to your desire. I'm going to put one spotlight facing the player and another in angled at the left of the player. Now we're going to start animating our character. So we need to start planning out what the animation is going to look like and what we're going to say. Start by clicking the head. Once selected, move the head a little. Then go to your timeline and you will see a keyframe. We are going to want to add a lot of keyframes depending on how complex our animation is. To make your next keyframe, move the bar further along the timeline. Then slightly move the head again and repeat the process until you're satisfied with what you have. We're then going to want to make it choppy so all you have to do is highlight the keyframes, right click on them and then press transition and select instant. To add items, click item. You can then select whatever item you want, and you can animate it the exact same way you did the head or arms. To increase the item size, go to the left and type in how big you want the item to be on the X, Y, and Z. We are now going to start animating the camera. To do this, just keyframe it zooming in or out. You could also add rotation to it in a small shake if you want, but instead of adding instant on our camera, we're going to add cubic, which gives it a smoother look. And that is how to make Minecraft animations. When I hit 3,000 subscribers, I'm gonna make a part two which talks about how to import worlds and so much more. So, subscribe!